me, 26M, and my wife, 24F, have been married for four years. During those four years, she had the same job which required her to be away from Friday to Sunday, so she left early on Friday and returned about 4-5 p.m. on Sunday. Occasionally it would be leaving on Saturday and returning Sunday. She also has to work some of the school public holidays. I work full-time and get just a bit above minimum wage and tips, so our bills are split between 60, her, to 40 me. While I find myself struggling with money and having to have to borrow from the joint bank account, my wife never had this problem. I know she is getting paid more than I do as she works for a high-profile client, but I'm not sure by how much more. She also wouldn't tell me what exactly she is doing, all I know is that it is connected to her degree, and it is 100% not an intimate work or nothing in that industry. The reason why she won't tell me is because she signed the contract and it is highly confidential, so she is not allowed to go into details. She does chores around the house but doesn't cook, she admits herself she is a bad cook and hates it. Instead she would order either those pre-made healthy meals you then heat up for herself or take away. When I'm home and she hasn't ordered she will order for me too. So most of the day while I'm working she is either in our house chilling, watching TV, playing video games, reading, or exercising, or shopping or in the gym. Over the years I got annoyed with this and have asked her to find another job, so she has something to do while I'm working instead of wasting her day. She told me she is not wasting her day, but relaxing, and her job pays her enough so she can afford the lifestyle she wants. I said it is not fair on me, as I come home tired while she has done nothing all day, to which she said I can find another job or a different job, but I am an idiot for wanting her to find another job, because I feel tired when coming back from my work when she has already got a job she loves. After she won't talk to me. I have spoken to my family and while my parents agree with me that she needs to work, my sisters took my wife's side and called me a massive idiot. Edit. I'm not saying she needs to quit the job she has. I'm saying she needs to find another job to do during her free time, could be a part-time one, since she doesn't really do much during the day. You're the idiot. You have no right to make your wife leave her clearly very good job, just because you feel it's unfair to you. She gets paid well and gets to relax, but you'd rather she suffer working the same way you suffer than you'd have financial security. If it bothers you this much, how about you start looking for another job that pays more and demands less? Edit. OP, your edit that she needs to find a second job doesn't make this any better. In fact, it makes it worse. You're the idiot. Your reason for wanting her to do is just because you feel jealous and emasculated. I am suffering, therefore, she must suffer too, so I don't feel as bad. This is exactly how it reads. OP is jealous that she has days each week to live her life. He wants to force her into long hard minimum wage labor just like he does. Girl has found peace and balance, OP should be striving to be like her. To begin my brother Ben, 39M, has been in a relationship with Abby, 39F, for 18 years. They've been engaged eight years they've nearly gotten married three years ago, but months before the wedding Ben chickened out. They went to therapy and basically because our dad left us he has issues with commitment. We thought over the last year he was finally gonna step up for Abby and be the partner she deserves. He did seem a bit anxious leading up to the big day, but assured everyone he was okay. Today they were meant to get married, but as Abby and us, bridesmaids were about to enter the church, Ben was nowhere to be found. Everyone tried to calm her down, saying it was traffic or he probably had a monster hangover. Well, an hour passed, then two, then three, and then after the four-hour mark Abby said she was going back to the hotel, call her when he landed. My family looked panicked and nervous trying to get through to Ben or the groomsman who had not arrived yet. My other brothers and brother-in-laws, sister's husband, went looking for him thinking he got hurt or arrested the night before. I went back to the hotel with a very broken-looking Abby. We drank and ate food for another hour before I got a text from my brother-in-law, saying they found him in a bar and they were trying to talk him into going to his own wedding. My sister rang her husband and heard him in the background, he was literally acting like a five-year-old who didn't want to go to the doctor. Honestly guys I had enough at this stage, he messed this girl about too long, and frankly leading someone along for 18 years is just cruel. So here's where I may be the idiot of the century. I walked into Abby's room and told her to be quiet, then I rang my brother-in-law, put him on loudspeaker, and asked him what was going on, then for him to put Ben on the phone. The drunk fool started saying crap like he didn't think she was the one, and he is only with her because they'd been together too long, 
and he is scared to be alone. I let her hear everything. I won't lie I felt like a monster when she started crying. Abby then grabbed the phone and told him he had one hour to get to the church or it was over for good. Long story short Ben ended up at the church 20 minutes later and Abby took off her dress and then left the hotel alone. So he ended up being left the altar and she went on the honeymoon alone. I've been disowned by everyone except two siblings, sisters, and I had to get Abby's maid of honor to collect my suitcase from outside the hotel, mom dumped out when she found out. I'm the full blame for ruining their relationship and 98% of my family hates me. Not the idiot. You did her a favor by having her hear it. You did something no one else ever did for her. The truth is to move on. Let's look at this in a few years. Imagine the heartbreak she would have felt if she had a kid with him or if she was left in the lurch again. He left her at the altar. He talked about his supposed life partner as if she was an object. Do you honestly think you did wrong by helping her find out the entire unedited truth? To spare who? The same man that has emotionally tortured her for nearly two decades? She deserves better. Not the idiot. Should have been done a decade ago before she wasted all her good years on your brother. Not the idiot. Your family is idiots for hating you. They are all ruining this girl's life. Yes, she is partly responsible for staying for so long, but everyone else is enabling him. Your brother trying to convince him to go to the wedding is an idiot, he is a grown man. Also, you didn't make Ben say anything. He said all of that on his own. I think she needed to hear his true thoughts. I hope she meets someone on the vacation. My sister and I live in the same city, but our parents moved to another country for retirement. They flew us out for their anniversary. Our parents buy all of us tickets on the same flight. My sister has two kids a six-month-old and a five-year-old. She is currently separated from her husband, so she would have to handle two children by herself on a 10-hour flight. Or so I thought. She calls me up a week or so beforehand and asks me if I will be willing to help her take care of her kids on the flight and something about taking shifts so we can both sleep. I tell her that I wasn't comfortable with that, but she says nephew loves you so much so we can work something out on the flight and hung up. I was pissed. I didn't sign up for mid-flight babysitting. I called my airline office and asked if they had any business class seats available. They said yes, and I upgraded using a mix of points and money. The upgrade cost me $50 out of pocket, the rest covered by my frequent flyer miles, and it was money well spent to be able to sleep. I get to the airport, check in and wait around for my sister to show up. She does, and I eventually tell her that I upgraded. She. Didn't seem too happy. She still sends me little screenshots of how important family is and how we should care about them. I mean, the only reason why I upgraded was because she expected me to babysit. And I didn't give her a heads up. And for everyone that said I didn't tell her I didn't want to do it. I did. I did tell her over that phone call I didn't want to do it. She does have a history of dumping her kids with me, and I didn't want to spend 10 hours on the plane with them, only to spend another week with them in a foreign country, where I did babysit them while she went sightseeing for me time. Not the idiot. She made the decision to have the kids. She made the decision to take an international flight with them. Not your problem. No idiots here. It's reasonable for a family to ask for help, and it's also okay to have boundaries. It would have been nice to help your sister, but you were by no means required to. It was also okay for her to feel a bit disappointed with you. You're the idiot. This is one of those cases where sure, technically you were not required to help. They aren't your kids after all, right? But, this is your sister and she obviously could have really used your help. It sounds like the only reason you didn't help was because you just didn't feel like it. That's pretty lame. It is also lame to not give her any advance warning.